Hey y'all, welcome. That sounds so country. <laughs> hey y'all, welcome or welcome back to my channel. It's Aries. So today I'm going to be doing some more knotless box braids. You know, nothing new. I've done this so many times on this channel. But I did see a couple of pictures on Pinterest the other day of girls with um, braids, like boho braids or locks, and they had curly bangs in the front. And I thought that was really cute, something a little different. So I'm gonna try to recreate that. I went to the hair store the other day and I got, well, they only had three packs left of this um, 48 inch color 350. And hopefully I did a better job this time matching my hair. I literally pulled a piece of hair out of my head to like hold up to the pack. Uh, <laughs> it's a little bit darker than my hair, but I'd rather have it be too dark than be too light like I did with that um, asymmetrical bob. I don't know what the heck that was. So I thought three packs wouldn't be enough. Um, so I got two packs of this ombre orangey color. It's definitely a lot orangier. I don't know if that's a word, but it's more orange than that. Um, I don't know how I'm going to mix this together. Um... What I think I'm going to do is I'm going to just braid my hair. <clears throat> probably not going to braid it all the way down. I'll probably um, like braid the ends together and dip it in hot water, unravel it so it'll be nice and wavy or crinkly. And then I might use the ombre hair, like put some flexi rods or perm rods in that and dip it in hot water to make it curly. And then crochet the curly pieces in and make like a curly bang. I don't know. I'm going for like a really messy, curly, boho, knotless box braid kind of look. So yeah, I'm just going to be making this up as I go like I do with everything else. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go ahead and get started and y'all can just watch me wing it, basically. So I'm going to just do my regular old um, parting, braiding pattern. My hair is pretty stretched out. I just washed it um, the day before yesterday after having it straight for like two and a half weeks. So I'm looking a little crazy, but yeah, hopefully it won't be so hard to uh, maneuver through this since we're back to the naps. <laughs> Okay, y'all, so I barely recorded me braiding my hair. I skipped through a lot of it because I have so many other videos of me doing the same exact thing. So, um, yeah, I really only recorded me doing just a few braids. But basically, all I do is add three pieces of hair at the roots. And then I add a little bit of jam to my ends. And when I get about halfway through the braid, I add a fourth piece of hair. And like I said earlier, I didn't braid my hair all the way down, so I make sure to make a little knot towards the end and that is it.
Okay, so when I got like halfway through my hair, I realized that I should probably go ahead and curl the pieces that I'm gonna crochet in later. So I got one bundle of the 350 hair and one bundle of the ombre orange hair. And I wrapped it around some flexi rods, dipped it in some hot water, and set it in front of a fan. But none of that really mattered because it still wasn't dry later that night. And I couldn't add the curls the next day because I had to work. So I ended up adding them two days later on Saturday, which y'all will see towards the end of this video. Oh my goodness okay so one more thing i need to explain you can see that the ends of my hair is already curly because i only had like two more rows to braid but then i had to stop to go to church so i went ahead and put bantu knots at the ends and dipped them in hot water just so my hair could be curly and i could be presentable for church but um yeah i ended up curling them again that night because i didn't let them dry all the way so of course they had gotten frizzy so yeah this video is honestly all over the place but y'all get the gist of what's going on okay <laughs> Alrighty, so I finished that last braid and now I'm going to brush out the ends to do more bantu knots. Well, first I twisted it and then I did the bantu knot at the end, dipped it in hot water again and I let it dry overnight. And I did take them down the next morning when I went to work, but I wasn't about to set my phone up at 530 in the morning to show that. So yeah, y'all will see the curls Saturday. <laughs> y'all so it's a whole two days later and i'm just now getting ready to put in the curly pieces um so i didn't do this thursday when i finished my hair because what happened oh the hair was still wet i didn't want to risk it um i didn't do it thursday i mean no i didn't do it friday which is yesterday because i had to work um so i'm just not doing it today and i did go ahead and take out my bantu knots of course because i need to look presentable <laughs> 
Um, so yeah, let me go ahead and um, I'm just gonna crochet these pieces in in random spots. I'm kinda in a rush right now, so I'm hoping that this just works and it looks how I need it to look. So I'm gonna start with this one. I'm gonna just recurl it a little bit with my fingers and just stick it in there. <laughs> I did not take into consideration when I was picking this hair out that my roots are pitch black. <laughs> So yeah, I'm looking a little crazy, but uh, whatever. I think I'm gonna st stick it in a random spot. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Hopefully don't leave like a big knot. Maybe I'll just put one half through. See what that does. That'll work, that'll work. All right, now let me do a, let me see what the orangey pieces look like in here. No, okay. Not doing the orange pieces, okay. Let me cut this out of my head immediately. I look crazy yeah i look crazy um <laughs> so i like the style like this is the style that i was going for this is what i wanted but the color uh, it's like you know i don't know y'all i don't know i'm probably gonna be wearing this up in a ponytail every single day because this is just a bit much maybe if it was you know my regular old 1b but you know this is gonna have to do you know i didn't I done did it. <laughs> um, so yeah, this is what it looks like down. Just wanted to show y'all how that looks because I'll be wearing this up in a ponytail every day for sure. So yeah. Uh, anyways, y'all, so that concludes this video. I hope y'all enjoyed. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and leave a comment if you want, and I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye.